hello everybody it's Doris at DF Designs again I got a real quick one today for all my fluid art friends um, I got resin on my gloves already so I don't want to take out yesterday's uh, pieces so somewhere in the video I will do um, I will do a, a photograph of them um, today I'm going to do one more layer on this. I might do a second one, or a third one, I mean. Well, really, it would be a fourth one, because the, the one I covered up was the first layer. This is the second layer. This is going to be the third layer. I have been watching those, um, um, I've been watching some people on Instagram that do, like, these, um, 3D type of ways, um, and I'm just going to try it because um, I got these um, colors for the beach from uh, Mermaid Trash. And I, she uses Pro Marine, so you know what? I'm using Pro Marine today. And you'll see when I get ready to uh, heat the wave part, um, I got an attachment that comes with all the guns. I got an attachment for it. Okay, a little quick reminder while I'm mixing this. There's going to be an eye card up in the corner, okay, up in this corner up here. And it takes you to my giveaway video. Today's the last day you can comment to be entered. Uh, today is March 2nd, okay. March 4th, which is Monday, I'm going to be doing a live at 6.30 p.m. Central Time. I'm in Wisconsin, if that helps you any figure out what time because um, I know for the East Coast people that is 730 and for the people on the West Coast in California that is 430 I had to think for a minute there so 630 uh, Central Time I will be um, uh, doing a live I'll do the drawing and then I'll do a small painting I'm not sure what painting yet but um, please go comment on that video, um, like and share it on social media, and subscribe if you haven't. It is just a giveaway, free shipping to anywhere in the United States. Um, it's just a way for me to show my appreciation for all the support I've gotten since I started this channel. I absolutely love my subscribers, you guys. Even the ones that give me, tell me what I've done wrong, like when I had a video with the audio not right. Okay. I am mixing this up and I have no idea why it's not clear. I've scraped the bottom. Uh, I hope it's not too old. I don't know if you can see it or not. I hate using Pro Marine, but she uses Pro Marine. Okay. Oh. I hope this isn't one of those things where it's going to have to, where it's going to turn into marshmallow already. Because I've been scraping. I'm sorry, I was turning off towards the window because it's easier for me to um, see it if I turn to my left. Because that's where my living room window is at. My whole studio is right here in one corner of my living room. I got my kitchen. This is my kitchen table. I got an old microwave cart that goes almost up uh, to the ceiling. Uh, well, with the canvases on it, it does. I got um, some shelves. Some shelves over here, and then next to that, I got the drying rack. Um, oh, I hope this is mixed up okay. Well, we will find out, won't we? Because I know it's been three minutes since I started mixing it. Okay, this is... The Trench Powder for Mermaid Trash. This is a Sapphire Powder for Mermaid Trash. This is a Seaweed Powder for Mermaid Trash. And this is going to be the uh, um, uh, liquid pigment she has called Foam. And then there's going to be a line of... Um, 
there's going to be a line of, um, um, oh man, I hate this. I'm going to go for it. I'm going to go for it. Okay. And then I'm going to put a little bit of this one thing called, um, offshore, which is a liquid pigment, which is going to go into this first color. I just poured the resin in and that is going to hopefully make it a little bit darker. We will find out how this sets up. See, I'm not pouring across the whole canvas, okay? I know that sounds weird, but I want to make like a, like a rolling wave. Okay, there we go. Okay, I needed to save a little clear because you will see. Let me mix this up. I wanted to put one or two drops of this in just to darken up the first one. Oh, that's right. It doesn't have a dropper on it. Oh, I hate this. Come on, come on. Give me one drop. Just, there we go. I just wanted enough in there to darken up that mica powder a little bit. This is going to take a couple of drops. I don't know if I mixed up too much resin. I doubt it, but... Oh, crap. I don't know if I shook this. Oh, I better shake it real quick. you got to make sure you shake all your pigments because the stuff will settle to the bottom. You know, your, your, um, your paste and your, um, and anything that, anything that comes out liquid. She does sell them in bigger bottles, but I wanted to get, wait a minute, I want to scrape this off, so I'll just use the side of the stick right here. I don't know if that's preferred practice, but that's what I just did because there was no resin on the stick and I just wanted to get rid of what was on the edge. Okay, I'm going to, I have to hurry too because Pro Marine doesn't have a very long working time. Okay, there's my white. And now you want to make sure you scrape the bottom really well when you've got your powder. Yeah, I put my powder in first. Shocking. I didn't want any little unicorn farts. I didn't want to have to deal with it after I mix the resin. Okay, there's the seaweed. I think those are still on camera. I apologize if they're not. This is the sapphire, which is like a medium blue. Any powder that might have stuck to the stick I'm scraping off on the side. And that looks mixed. I'm hurrying because of the short working time. Now, I'm not doing a whole lot of dark blue up at the top. I am going to blend it all together with my fingers after I pop the bubbles. But then you're going to see some magic with the uh with the uh rolling wave that I'm making because I hope I don't have to sit here and babysit it to keep it from running down here it's it's not the resin's not going to be that far well it's going to go more like this but the resin's not going to come down that far so I want to do like make it look like a little three a little 3d rolling wave okay I've already sanded this whoops let me get my mermaid tail out of the way. Okay, so basically, I just want to pour some of this up here. Like, I, I didn't want to do a lot of dark blue. We'll see what it looks like. I only mixed six ounces for this, which I know everybody's probably going, ah, it's not enough for that size canvas. This canvas is a 12 by 24 inch. And I just wanted 
it had an old painting on it that I didn't like. Okay, there is my dark blue. Here is my sapphire. Like I said, I'm going to be blending all these together. And I will pop the air bubbles too. And I'm duh. I'm just looking at it as it's coming out. I'm praying to God it sets up right. Okay. There's all of that. Here is my seaweed. Just want to do a little bit. You don't want a whole lot because it's not going to go all the way over here. You'll see what I'm going to do. I've watched so many of her um, little, little, oh, those little hyperlapse videos on, um, that, sh that most, that some artists do on, um, on Instagram. I've watched a ton of them to see how she does it. Okay. That's about it for that. Okay, now... I'm just going to blend it together. Let me get my rag handy. Right, let me move this over here. There is no resin down, so it's it's you're going to have to push it to the edge cuz it's not going to it's not going to roll. Okay. It's okay if you're taking your finger from one color to another. Reason I don't have the white down yet is the white's going to be separated from all this by a little line of clear. And I don't want the clear kind of mix again with this while I'm mixing it together. Now I'm just going over and making sure it's up here at the top, it's all the way to the edge. Okay, there we go. Now, I know that the next thing she does is she does a line of clear right next to it. And I'm afraid of pouring it out because I don't want it to come out too fast. So I'm just doing a line of clear right here. I think it'll work. Now I'll just, hopefully it sets up. Okay. This line of clear is going to give you a place for you to see through the uh, waves and the, uh, and the lacing. Okay, now. Now I'm going to do a big line of white. The reason I'm making it look a little um, not straight is because I didn't pour the clear straight. And now I want to get just a little bit up here. Okay, I think that's enough for now. Okay, now I'm gonna heat. I'm gonna pop the air bubbles with this because I don't, because I don't want it blowing around. So I'm just gonna use this to pop the air bubbles. And you just want to go over it really super quick. Yeah, it's gonna heat it up a little bit, but I'm mainly I'm worried about the air bubbles. Okay, went over it really quick. Now. You want to turn on your air gun, your heat gun, at least five seconds before you, um, oh, that's already, that's, no, that's not dried resin. Ah, 
Oh well. You want to turn it on for at least five seconds away from here. Okay. Now I'm going to turn up the heat. Okay, now we're going to find out how good this is. I always saw her with this uh, skinny nozzle on. So that's why I'm using the skinny nozzle today. I don't want this to look too straight. Okay. And this is it. I'm not going to do anything else to it because I want this to stay like a, uh, well, I'm going to blow this out just a little bit. This is a little bit too much white over here. Okay, this is hopefully going to dry. What is that? That is resin right there. Wow. I don't know where that came from. So, I'm going to give this a quick wipe. Just to get rid of the little spots. So, now I'm going to let this set. And hopefully, it will set up right. I mean, I don't have much of this resin left. I don't have that much of this clear left. And I have none of the colors left. So, six ounces was good. Because I didn't come all the way across. I do want to pick this up. Just want to tilt it just a little bit. Oh, lost one of my little pyramids under here. Okay, that's it for today. I want to thank you all for watching. If you haven't subscribed already, please do. I'm not begging. I'm just telling you that when you subscribe, you're going to don't forget to hit the little notifications bell. So you'll be notified of any of my upcoming videos. If you have any questions about what I did right here, uh, leave them in the uh, comments below this video and I'll answer them. Um, don't forget to go over to the other video for the giveaway. Um, close, uh, I'm going to uh, comment later when the comments are closed. And um, all you got to do below that video is comment below it. Like and sh I I'd appreciate it if you'd like and share it on social media and subscribe if you haven't. And then Monday night, 6.30 p.m. Central Time, I'll be doing the giveaway. And there's a picture in that video of the uh, uh, painting I'm giving away. So anyway, thank you all for watching. I hope to see you in the next video. Bye for now.